Now, what is the difference between displacement? Now, just now I told you that sometimes in a situation where uh, there is no uh, straight line, it is like uh, going north, south, east and west, so the displacement will now be classified as the distance between the starting point to the ending point. Now, where is the starting point? Your starting point is, okay, your starting point is A. And your ending point, this is where it starts. And this is where it ends. So, to find the displacement, you join from the starting point to the ending point. Okay? So, that is the displacement. You see? So, you don't have to bother which is positive and which is negative. So therefore, how to find this displacement? So geometrically, you draw a right angle triangle whereby this is 40, all right, 40, this is 10, this is already 30, 30 minus 10, this will give you 20. So Pythagoras theorem. My AD will be Pythagoras theorem, which is 20 square plus 40 square, and that will be how much? 400 plus 1600. Zero, zero. This is square root of 2000. Square root of 2000 is 44.7. So 44.7 meter. This is your displacement. Right? Now after that, see this object, we start to move from A to B, B to C, C to D, it takes total time of say 50 seconds. 50 seconds. If the total time is 50 seconds, now what happens if they ask you to find what is the average speed? Okay, average speed will be total distance divided by total time. So, what is the total distance? Your total distance is 80 meter. This is your total distance, 80 meter. What is your total time? 50 seconds. And this is 1.6 meter per second. Average speed. However, if you are asked to find the average velocity, Remember I told you, velocity is a vector quantity. So if it is velocity, it will be total displacement divided by total time taken. So it is no longer distance. It is displacement divided by time. Now what is a displacement? Your displacement is this position, 44.7. So 44.7 meter divided by the time taken is 50 seconds. Alright? You see? It's a totally different answer. 44.7 divided by 50. This will be 0 0.894 meter per second. That will be your uh, average velocity. Okay? Now, I'm going to give you one more example. One more example. Say, this is a roundabout. Okay, a roundabout, round about. And uh, there is a car starting from here. This car, okay, this is car A. It moves to this side and go back such that this is a roundabout and this roundabout has a radius of 30 meters. Okay, 30 meter. So it moves from A and go back to its position here. Alright, one circle. And if it takes uh, say 20 seconds to return to A again, then what is your average 
speed. Average speed from A go back to A again. So the average speed will be total distance divided by total time. What is the distance? Distance from A go back to here is the circumference of a circle. So circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. Remember the formula? And the time taken is 20 seconds. Time taken is 20 seconds. So with this, we substitute inside. That will give us 2, sorry, 2 pi is 3.14. Your radius is 30 meters divided by your time taken is 20. So that will give you 2 times 3.14 times 30 divided by 20. So it will be 9.42 meter per second. This is called the average speed. But uh, if you want to find the average velocity, average velocity, then it will be total displacement. Total displacement divided by total time taken. Now, what is displacement? Remember I told you, total displacement, there is no up or down, left or right. It is a circular motion. So, total displacement, your displacement will be the, the point, the distance between the starting point and the ending point. Like just now that question. The starting point to the ending point is called the displacement. Now what about here? The starting point is here and the ending point is also here. So starting and the ending point is still there. So what will be the total displacement? There is no displacement. It is zero because starting and ending is at the same point divided by 20 seconds. So there is no average velocity. Your average velocity is zero. Can you follow? Right? So that will be your average velocity, average speed, displacement, and distance. Now, what is acceleration? Acceleration is actually the change in velocity divided by time taken. Alright? Acceleration is a vector quantity because it has direction, positive and negative. So, this is a change in velocity divided by time. Alright? Now, in this acceleration, my symbol for acceleration is A. Okay? A has two signs. It can be a positive acceleration and a negative acceleration. When I say a positive acceleration, it has two meanings. It is either increasing speed, increasing speed, or it is moving in a positive direction. And if it is a negative acceleration, it can mean two definitions. It can be decreasing speed or negative direction. When negative direction means opposite direction. And here, a negative acceleration, which is net decreasing speed, is also called as deceleration. It slows down. Deceleration. 